Can a Xenon machine that is a decade old be used for editing video? And if it can, can it be used for editing 4K video? Well, I tried and ran into some issues. This video will illustrate the issue and what I did to fix it. Here, I'm starting to run a test, rendering a 5 minute 4K 29.97 FPS video with my Dell Precision T3500 with a Xenon X5650 using OpenShot Video Editor. My system is starting with only 6 gigabytes of RAM. We aren't far into the process before we run out of RAM and it starts transferring memory to the swap file. Once that fills up though, in just over a minute, the program crashes. The approach I'm going to take to try to fix this is to start with buying an additional 8 gigabytes of unbuffered ECC RAM. Once two of the one gigabyte sticks are out, I put two four gigabyte sticks in for a total now of 12 gigabytes of system RAM. Of course, before we see if this fixes our problem, it's a good idea to run a memory test program like Memtest 86. With no detected problems, we roll right back into seeing if this fixed the issue. Early on, we see that the system RAM exceeds 7 gigabytes, but none of this is being written to the swap file. Things look good as we fast forward and the file is finishing up without the program crashing. The final run finishes in 30 minutes and 54 seconds with an average of 4.86 FPS. While not blazing, we have proved that an old Xenon X5650 can indeed process 4K video. It may not be a speed demon, but it can get the job done. While I've not had any issues rendering 1080p video with the Xenon machine, 4K was just more than it could take with the 6 gigs of system RAM. However, when I upgraded the system to 12 gigabytes of RAM, it didn't run into any issues. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully it wasn't terrible.